Yeah, Andrew, what would you attribute the, the slow start to in this one as you guys dug a hole? This one. I'm not sure um, why we started off slow. Um, it was just, I don't know, the sun's pace is a lot faster than ours, so it kind of, I don't know, we were trying to figure out offensively how to score, and I mean, we were turning the ball over, so <laughs> that kind of messed up our whole pace of everything because we're not really turning the ball over at that high of a rate. So that kind of messed up our offense. And obviously our defense, we can't really do nothing when they're out running and shooting open threes off their turnovers. You had a season high tonight in points. Um, how would you describe the level of comfortability you've been able to have out there on the floor with your teammates and disrupting things for the team on the defensive end? Yeah, offensively, um, I'm just playing my game, being trying to be aggressive. Um, Steve told me over the past week or so just to keep trying to be aggressive because, you know, I'm going to make the right play. So just trying to find my ways out there. And obviously James is, is looking um, for back doors and stuff like that. And even Kevin found me a couple times. So um, just being able to play off of those guys, I mean, we, we need, we need uh, some points off of other than those two guys. And DeAndre, does, does your mentality change at all from coming off the bench versus starting? I know that you, you're someone who prides yourself on bringing energy, but I guess is there a difference between bringing energy off the bench and then starting and having to kind of bring that energy as a starter? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, um, it's different um, coming off the bench. You, you're not sure how the game, how the pace is going. And um, coming off the bench, I used to try to change the pace um, if we were down or anything like that. But starting, um, everyone's still just waking up, I guess, and trying to get their blood flowing. So it's kind of harder for most guys to um, keep keep that pace for everybody. But uh, me, myself, I mean, that's my game, just coming in, being aggressive defensively and try, trying to disrupt uh, plays. And um, luckily, we were able to get back in, get back in, in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it's more so just a, a, a thing I just wanted to do, just hang on the rim. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of made that one of my signature dunks. And um, I, I got it f just hanging on the rim from helicopter, from street ball. That's kind of um, where I got it from a little bit. But also just me just wanting to hang up there. And uh, I think I kind of started that in Atlanta, in my Atlanta days, and also last year with Toronto. And just trying to keep 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 it up. <laughs> Nah, nah, I'm good. They, they kind of respect um, what, I, what I'm doing. They know I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, just more so just they're used to it. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, touch on this a little bit, but you talk about their pace throwing you guys off. When you had that 16-0 run in the second quarter and then obviously in the fourth when you showed up to make it a game, just, what, what do you think was working for you guys during those stretches where that wasn't really a problem? Yeah, it was our defense. I mean, our offense is always going to be our offense. We have plenty of guys that can put the ball in the hole. So um, defensively, um, first half we were trying to play 45, and which is obviously – one through four switch and keep the five back. And um, they were killing us with that. So um, second half, we kind of made that switch where we wanted to switch everything. And that kind of made it tough a little bit. Um, that, that, that's what got us in the game, though, us being able to switch one through five and just be disruptive. And after that, um, that's, that's, that's what got us in the game. We were able to switch and be in the lanes and, and rebound the ball. So um, that, that ended up working, up, working for us. Uh, one more for you. James said he's still kind of trying to figure out when to pass versus when to shoot, when to find shots for himself versus when to set other guys up, especially without Kyrie in the lineup. Do you do you see that of him out there as someone who's still trying to kind of figure it out for himself? Um, tonight, I guess, if you want to say that for tonight. But um, James, James is great, man. He he does everything for us. Um, obviously, it wasn't his, his best shooting night, but, I mean, we, we all know he can score the ball. We all know he can pass the ball. He's one of the smarter players on our team, so... Um, it happens. Um, obviously, like I said, he wanted to play a better game. I think that's more so where, where, where that's coming from. But we, we have full, we trust James in every every way. So um, I know he, he'll get back to it. But him making a play, nah, I mean, he, he sees the game better than a lot of players. So that's the last thing we worry about.